the new journey into Hell's Kitchen begins. Yeah, I'm so excited. To me, this is a chance of a lifetime, and I want it. I want it so bad. Here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Please come in. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. My name is Jean-Philippe. I'm the maitre d'. Please feel free to walk around the restaurant. <laughs> free. Thanks. Thank you. Rachel, what's over here? Hey, Hell's not a bad-looking place at all, is it? See. Si. Pick it up, what? I'm here at Hell's Kitchen to prove that someone that walks like me, talks like me, dances like me, acts like me, can still hold it down and kill it in the kitchen. Oh dear, slightly demented. I hate being the grandma of the group. <laughs> Everybody looks good in this lighting. I work at a restaurant called Lupa. I slice it very thinly. I go in there with a little bit of mascara, maybe some lip gloss. My impression of Gordon Ramsay is he's hot. Just kidding, he's not. <laughs> oh dear, she put makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> so please, have a little toast all together. To a house kitchen, that the best you. might win. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Gordon Ramsay, and this is Hell's Kitchen. And there's 12 of you here, and only one of you is going to win. Win by impressing me. Now, get in the kitchen and start cooking your signature dishes. What are you waiting for? Move! <laughs> oh, my god. Chef Ramsay has given the contestants 30 minutes to prepare their signature dish. This is his first opportunity to gauge the talent of these aspiring chefs. Nobody has a wine screw or corkscrew, right? No. Sorry to do this. It looks so much easier in the movies when they cut the top of the bottle of wine off. Hey, my platano, they're burning. Oi, oi, oi. Ah! Cook, you bastard. OK, last minute. Yes? Man. Last minute. I mean, I'm thinking, gosh, I'm going to be able to see my heart beating through my neck. I was very, very nervous. Rock in and roll my friend. These are your signature dishes. This is you on a plate. So who's responsible for the Leaning Tower of Pisa? That's mine, Chef. That's yours, big boy. What is it? It's uh, cha-ching, sesame crusted tuna. Sorry, is it, say that again. Cha-ching, sesame crusted. Um, I've never heard ching-ching. Cha-ching is like, a, oh, it's my slang just means it's slam and it's money. It's lamb and it's money. Slamming? Oh, slamming. Yeah. And uh, this is a meal for six, right? It's just, it's light. It just looks tall. It's light? Yeah. Would you just take your hat off for me? Is there a hole in your head? No. No. Give me your hat. What? Hat. There you go. Hold it there. <laughs> so this is you on a plate. That sauce is piping hot. You should dip it in with care. I'm going to stop eating with care. Kind of soiled the inside, but uh, still wearable. Jesus. Come on, chef. I am proud to be a redneck. I don't have to be the big dog but uh, I'm not going to let anybody run over me. What is that on there? It's butterfly shrimp and chocolate sauce. Oh, fuck you now. Get me back to London. And what's all the little bits on the uh, lemon? Oh, uh, that's a chili pepper. I wouldn't 
Eat it if your mouth is on fire, sir. No, sweetheart, my mouth's fucked. It's not on fire, it's fucked. Very weird. It's a shame, really, because the prawn is actually cooked nice, but totally obliterated with the silly chocolate sauce. Far too much chocolate in there. Back in line. Yes, sir. Thanks, Chef. You said it was a weird dish. A lot of it's where you come from. I'm sure that kidney pie would taste like crap to me. Fuck me. Whose is this? It's mine. And um, first name? Polly. How long have you been cooking? Most of my life. I have had six sons. I had them all naturally. And if I can endure that, Hell's Kitchen's going to be nothing for me. And just explain to me what it is, please. Um, it's an undone focaccia bread with a garlic dipping oil. Undone? What does that mean, undone? It means it's not done. Oh, so half-baked focaccia bread. Oh, my god. Right now, I'd rather eat poodle shit than put that in my mouth. Back in line. Whose is this? That would be mine. I'm really used to being underestimated my whole life. I'm about five, three and three quarters. I like to say five, four. OK, what is it? It's potato crab cakes with a little bit of Asian flair with soy and peppers. Yeah, it's very hot. And um, some of the potato inside are crunchy. They're undercooked. Don't piss me off, or you'll get a pit bull. Back in line, Larry. Thank you. And whose is this? It's mine, chef. And first name? Maribel. Maribel. What is it? It's a Argentine plantain soup. I'm so sorry. It's garlicky, it's hot, and it looks like baby vomit. It was a disaster. He spit it out. I don't think it was too spicy. I don't think he could take the spice. I think he's a wimp when it comes to that. Back in line. Now I feel sick. Do you know what? I don't know if I want to go any further, to be honest. Can it get any worse? I'm saying a prayer now. Now I feel sick. Oh, it's me. Fuck. Whose is this? It's me, Chef. Now, um, God, you're very sweaty. You're right. I just, I'm a sweater. I sweat. I sweat all the time. I'm a schwetzer. Don't worry about that. What is that? It's uh, shrimp scampi uh, with Caesar salad. It's the first time in my entire life I've been served a cooked Caesar salad. I understand that, Chef. Sounds disgusting. Let's move the Caesar salad off. Thank you. Just um, give me your hands, please. Thank there you. you. Uh, Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. It's hot. <laughs> Tom, fuck off back with your Caesar salad. <laughs> Thank you, chef. I'm a man. I can take it. It's no big deal. And you know what? If he didn't care, he wouldn't break my chops. Right. Uh, whose is this? My job. First name? Heather. Heather. And what do you do? Sous chef. Sous chef. Yes, sir. How big a brigade? 12 below. And 12 I guys? Yes, sir. Being a woman in the kitchen, you, you got to hold your own. My name's not Babe. My name's not Hun. It's not Honey. It's Heather. So, what is it? Chocolate raspberry empanadas. Oh, fuck you now. Very thick on the outside, so it's very hard to sort of digest. Yes, sir. At least I can say that is the best thing I've tasted so far. Thank you, sir. Back in line. Thank you. Now, whose is this? It's mine, chef. And where did you learn to cook? The first cooking job I had was in a jail. Were you serving time there or just bypassing to learn I how to cook? I was serving time there. I got in trouble for some stolen checks. The judge gave me a total of five years. If I think Chef Ramsay's being an asshole to be an asshole, I'll be an asshole myself. You, blue shirt, come here. First name? Gabe. You're going to taste this. Take the fork, big boy. <clears throat> when I see an opportunity that I can take to expose someone's weakness, I'll definitely take that. What do you think? It was a little overdone for me, Chef. It was overcooked. Yes, Chef. I'm so mad that somebody could just boldly lie to my face. 
very dry. So far, some really shit cooks, but one honest one. Back in line. Let's taste yours. Unfortunately, the fish is raw. It won't even separate. You can't even flake it. You should call it sushi. Back in line. Yes, sir. Whoever's responsible for these two dishes, yeah, please come forward. OK. First name, Giacomo. Giacomo. And this is? My name's Sarah. Sarah. Giacomo, cheer me up. What's the dish? Frutti mari. Sarah. Taste. If she said anything else but good or excellent, I knew that she was blowing smoke. Very nice. <laughs> Do you mean that, or are you just kissing his ass? No, chef. It's good. Thank you. It's not bad, Giacomo. Thank you, chef. Thank God I've come across something edible. Thank you, chef. After Chef Ramsay shook my hand, I uh, kind of feel like I have to emerge as a leader. Don't piss your pants. No, but not. thank you. OK. Uh, what is that? This is an herb-crusted salmon with a peaky toe crab pasta. The pasta is way overcooked. It's just like mush, just a big ball of mush. I did the best what I could with what I had. I didn't make him bleh, barf it out. Back in line. It's mine, chef. What is it? It's my coconut and pomegranate celery root salad. And what's cooked on the plate? Mm, the nuts are toasted. The nuts are toasted? Yes. Oh, fuck me. We've toasted nuts for 29 minutes and then grated a coconut. It's fine. As far as rabbit food goes, because it's all raw and crunchy. I'm really proud of that salad. I know it's a good salad. A rabbit might like it. I don't, I don't think rabbits like coconut milk. Back in line. I'm deeply concerned, but I'll push you to the absolute extreme, because one of you will become an executive chef with a share in the profits in a brand new multi-million dollar restaurant. It's a phenomenal opportunity. I'm prepared to sell my house, pack my things, I'm gone. Are you seriously up for the challenge? Yes, yes chef! chef! OK, these are my sous chefs, Scott and Marianne. Basically, they're my number twos. Now, for the first time ever in Hell's Kitchen, the teams will be men versus women. Yeah. I was psyched. I don't have to worry about offending anybody. I couldn't have asked for a better scenario. Bring it on. Normally, people expect women in kitchens to be so catty and so hateful, and I think this is a great opportunity to show that we can do the dance and bring it together. The men will be cooking out the blue kitchen with Scott. And the women will be cooking out the red kitchen with Marion. Go and get changed, because boy, oh boy, have we got a lot of work to do. Move your ass. Everybody follow me to the dorms. Although they are competing against each other, the men's and women's teams will be sharing this living space just steps from their kitchens. Team, Let's go. Baby, come on. As far as who's going to win, the team is going to be the guys. Watch out, girls. They're in there right now going, yeah, men, we got them. Thank God we don't have any women on our team. What I'm saying is we're going to have each other back. Yeah. The women's team are going to try to get the men's team out. We want two women at the end. It has to be that way. Let's go. Hey. OK, ladies and gentlemen, Hell's Kitchen is going to be open in 24 hours. It's going to be a long night. I don't think you're going to get much sleep. Now, let's get to work. Let's go. Yes, yes, chef. Chef. Blue team, red team. Chef Ramsay believes that an organized prep is a key element for a successful dinner service. We all want to get out of there before the girls. That's our goal. We're going to need some tomato paste. We need an pot for it, so it's carrot, celery, and onion. Okay. What is that? Mirapa, carrots, celery, celery, and onions. Onion. Okay. 
I might be the only one who hasn't been to culinary school. I'm having to really, you know, listen up and pay attention so I'll know what they're talking about. Tom, you got a timer set for those bones? Yes, I do, Chef. Good. Tom. Yes, Chef. You're sweating in the fucking food. We're in danger of being closed down before we even open. Get it in the bin and start again. Yes, Chef. Good job, y'all. While the women have worked together as a team to finish Good. prep early. Hell yeah! The men have been struggling along as individuals. What else is left? All right, we got beef, chicken, chicken, and one more chicken to do. <sighs> you guys, that was awesome. Like, we did so good, good. and we're so ahead. They couldn't have done everything we're doing. The girls are done early tonight. Now they're taking showers and doing whatever the hell they're doing. Good night, baby doll. Being sluggish could possibly hurt our team for tomorrow's competition. Gotta win. Gotta win tomorrow. Gotta win. With a few hours of sleep, the women are energized and working hard. Jesus, oh God. Meanwhile, long hours of prep have taken their toll on the men. With about 45 minutes of sleep last night, I'm just running on fumes. <sighs> Marianne, a quick gathering, let's go. Uh, gentlemen, stop what you're doing for two seconds. Quick, any minute now, the doors to Hell's Kitchen is going to be open. No matter what happens, one of you is going home before midnight. I need two volunteers. Well, the girl's hands went up straight away. Giacomo, yours went up like that. Heather. Giacomo, tonight, in Hell's Kitchen, you are the donkeys. It's down to both of you to keep this kitchen immaculate. Yes, Chef. If I knew what I was volunteering for, I definitely wouldn't volunteer. Heather. Yes, Chef. And you keep that kitchen spotless. Yes, Chef. I'm just really pumped being the cleaner, the organizer, the motivator. Now, is that clear? Yes, yes, yes Chef. Chef. Losing Heather, it's unfortunate, but we can still beat the blue team. OK, ladies and gentlemen, Hell's Kitchen is now open. Let's go. Chef Ramsay's reopening of Hell's Kitchen has generated as much excitement in Hollywood as a movie premiere. Beautiful. So romantic in here. The only question is whether or not his new staff can rise to the world-class chef's exacting standards. How long does the chicken take? At least 15 minutes. I can't do it. This is how pumped up I am. This is fucking real. I'm shaking. All right, so we got asparagus and all that crap right here. This is done. Ready, Keith? Ready. Yes? Tom, no sweat in the food. You got it. Yes? First service is always crucial. I've got high hopes. But for me, it's down to those first three or four tickets coming out. The sea scallops. And Monsieur's having the risotto, as, as you pumpkin, mentioned. Yeah, with extra pumpkin. Mm. As the Hell's Kitchen dining room begins to fill up, the critical first order is headed towards the Blue Kitchen. Blue Kitchen, chef. First table. Thank you. Right, listen up. Blue team, we have the yes, first yeah. order. On order, two covers, table 21, appetizers, one risotto, one scallops. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Let's go. I'm going to saute. Saute garlic shallots, a little bit of oil. Right. Yeah, right. I got you. I got you. Jacko, I need some ladles. Ladles. While the kitchens prepare, the donkeys, Giacomo and Heather, are hard at work. Guys, wet, coming through. Putting them in now. OK, listen up, ladies. Here we are. Four covers, table 34 appetizers, one spaghetti and lobster, one salad and jack, one risotto, one tempura of monkfish. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Good. Holy mackerel. With Polly and Tom on the appetizers, the pressure is on them to get their kitchens off to a good start. Come on, Polly. You've, You've got, got a this? spaghetti, a scallop, and the risotto coming out. Right. Who's working fish? Yes. Okay, you're going to help her with searing off scallops for her right now, OK? Got you. Let's go, Polly, please. Come on, come on, come on. While the women are working together to help Polly on the appetizers, in the blue kitchen, it's all up to Tom. 
Right now, I want the starters out, yeah? I don't give a fuck if I have to do them myself. The first ticket, yes? Yes, I will do that right now. 20 minutes after receiving their first order, the women are ready to present their first appetizers to Chef Ramsay. And what's that? That's your risotto oh. with butternut squash. And where's and the squash. mushrooms? So they're right in there. Yeah, and why is it stiff? And this is with help. Yes. This is with a team. Are you happy to send that? No, sir, I'm not. Get it in the bin and start again. Yes, sir. It can be pretty demoralizing to begin with. You pin a lot on you know, your first showing in the kitchen. Throw that away? Yes. While the red team tries to recover, Tom is ready to impress Chef Ramsay with his appetizer. Huh? Why are they cooked? He's killing them. Tom, come here, you. Just touch that for me, please. It's wrong. And just, no, come on. This is so painful. It is. It is. So painful. Start again, because I'm fucking seriously pissed. I was in the woods, like, out of the gate. I was just like, homa da homa da homa. Now move your ass. Seems like it's taken a long time. Yeah, that's not mine. For an appetizer, absolutely. <laughs> it's like, I think it was some cheese. It was like 20 How people. How long does it take to cook cheese? <laughs> Nearly an hour into the dinner service, and the only food that's reached the customers is bread. Right, Polly, I need an answer. Yes? Six I... minutes. Six no, minutes. Chef. Two minutes, chef. Oh, girls, come no. on. Six minutes. Two minutes. Six minutes. Six Who's minutes, running the section? I'm running it. Well, Six tell her minutes. then. Let's go. I'm running it. It's not going to be two minutes. OK. When I come to help you make your risotto, don't crawl up my ass like a hemorrhoid. Okay, let me have that. Have we tasted the risotto? Taste that, please. Yeah, and what do you think? I think it's bland. You think it's bland? Oh, man. Why are you serving me bland food? Take it back and start again. All right. You're telling me it's bland. Oh, Lordy. Moments later, it's time for Tom to step into the fire again. Tom! Thank you. All right, let's go, big boy. Nice. That's very nice. Yep. Service, please. I got out of the gate slow, but uh, if I can get the plate past the chef, I know I've done good work. Yep. Service, please. Table 23, yes? Let's go. Finally, a success as the first table in Hell's Kitchen is being served. Thank you. Go, please, table three. The men have picked up momentum and have served three more tables their appetizers. Where's the pumpkin? I don't see any pumpkin. Seems to be a problem here. There's no pumpkin. There's like a little There's pin. no pumpkin. I don't want it. You don't want it. Well, you finished it almost. Service, please. Pick up. There's no pumpkin in it. Yeah. This is like I, ordering risotto with no rice. Table one, VIP, yes? yes. Keith? Right. Yes. How long? Four days. Keith zone, yes? Let me just serve this table. Why is there no pumpkin in my risotto? Right, can you get out of the way? One spaghetti, one risotto? Yes? Oh, are you gonna, always going to be that rude and interrupt when I'm trying to talk? I just want more pumpkin, that's all I want. Right, well, I'll get you more pumpkin. I'll it's ram it right up your fucking ass. Would you like it whole or diced? Can we get security and get Nob back to the seat, please, yeah? Are you want pumpkin? Bingo. Bingo. OK, four minutes to the window. Tom, you're on fire. Yes, yeah, sure. Get a grip, big boy. Four minutes to the window. One result in one Salas and Jack away. Four minutes to the window. Oh, my God almighty. Yeah. You're about as far away to your own restaurant as I am from fucking home. Oh. Tom's fire has slowed the blue kitchen down. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen, Polly is making her fourth attempt at her first ticket. Madam, this has been open for an hour and a half. We have served fucking zero. Yes, Chef. I've put more food in the bin tonight than I've ever seen in 10 years. Polly, stop what you're doing. You're now the kitchen donkey. Heather, get on the fucking appetizers. Yes, Chef. On the appetizers. From there, it just went downhill. Just like nice doesn't always cut it, sometimes your best doesn't always cut it. Now, Chef. can I have a spaghetti, one salad saint jack, one risotto, and one fucking tempura Yes, yes, chef. Yes, chef. Three minutes, chef. Being the donkey, I couldn't do anything to help anyone. It was awful. As soon as he said switch, I was like, all right, let's get done. Let's go. Yes, chef. While Heather tries to relight the fire in the red kitchen, the blue team is flaming out. 
This isn't hard. Tom, the stove is off. Four and a half minutes. Yes, chef. And hello, I'm standing here and you're there. And I know the fucking thing's off from here. When the water spilt over. Tom, you're on fire. Oh, my God almighty. They put out the pilot light. <laughs> that, that's what it was. Tom, if nothing's happening and your pan's stone cold, think, big boy. All right. Yes? Yes, Chef. Cheese. I'm starving. Me too. <laughs> Larry, I know you haven't had much to do, but it'd be just nice to see you a little bit more lively, do you know what I mean? Agile and understanding what's going on, rather than just standing in one spot, big boy, like the Statue of Liberty. So, are you ready for this? Yes, Chef, I'm yeah. ready. Thank you so much. God bless America. After only three minutes on the appetizer station, Heather is getting her food up to the pass. But will it make it to the dining room? Let's see if this goes. OK, OK, a truffle on the scallops, please. Service, please. What is this, boil? Guys? Sorry, sorry. What's going on? Nothing, chef. Nothing, chef. Who's shouting and screaming? And uh, Sarah, let me just tell you something. Yes, chef. You're not a fucking cheerleader. No, I'm not. Just stop acting like one, because we have got nothing to fucking smile about. And listen, ladies, that has been one hour and 40 minutes for four starters. And personally, I wouldn't laugh or scream or start wetting your knickers, because that is fucking embarrassing. Yes, chef. Now they deserve to be shouted at. I feel like a little worm on a big fucking hook right now. Just take one good look at yourselves in the mirror because it's a fucking disgrace. Nearly two hours into dinner service, both teams have turned out appetizers. Now, the pressure is on Virginia and Gabe to get the entrees out. How long, please, Gabe? I'm going to need 10 minutes, Chef. Oh, come on. Chef, the oven wasn't hot enough, and it didn't get well done. I'm not going to give it to you not well done. Oh, come on, Gabe. Very frustrating because he's it's not like he's watching every move. He's just turning around and looking at you for two or three seconds. He really has no clue. 10 minutes, and we are so far in the shit. It's incredible. While the entrees are causing trouble for Gabe in the blue kitchen, in the red kitchen, Virginia is getting her first Wellington to Chef Ramsay. Virginia, come here a minute. The meat is not cooked. Get it in the bin. OK. Virginia, she just freaked out. You know, I wish I would have been in a hot station doing the meat. I couldn't believe that he had me standing there like a big schmuck. Let's go. The Wellingtons aren't Chicken. cooked yet. They're not cooked yet. How long for the Wellingtons? I don't know. They're, they said the outside's bark drowning faster. Sorry, you guys. They, all of them are raw. It's raw. Put them back in the oven. Virginia. Why in the hell did we open? I don't know. I'm trying my hardest. I don't know. I'm unprepared. I don't know the menu. I don't know the times. It's just. 24 hours. I know. I'm screwing up. To prepare this. Whatever you've got cooked, I just want. I don't care what else is not ready. I just want some food now. I don't know what to do. It was horrible. Like, I'm so miscombobulated. Oh, come on. What a disaster. Whatever they can figure out to make, they can make four of, that'd just be a lot easier. I don't know what we should do about the sauce. What do you guys think we should do about the sauce? What do you got? I have a whole bunch of lamb stock this and is veal stock. that's this all I got lamb for. sauce, this is veal stock. There's no way in hell we can pass this off as fucking lamb sauce. I was totally desperate, desperate enough to go over to the other team and ask them for, for lamb stock. May I have some lamb no stock? Way. Mine is really salty. Get out. Please, you guys. No way. You guys don't want to share any with me? You guys don't know if you might need something in the future. I don't give a fuck. It was horrible. It was horrible. No matter what I did, something was messed up. We are so fucked, it's unbelievable. Three hours into opening night, customers have received plenty of wine, but very little food. I want my food. I want my food. I want my food. I can't take any more. Shut it down. Stop. Turn it off. Gordon is shutting down the kitchen tonight. No, no, but not, not what I call fine dining. 
I don't think we killed it tonight. I don't think I personally killed it either. I think it was tough. I'm completely embarrassed by the service. Never before in Hell's Kitchen's history have so few customers been served. Chef Ramsay now faces a difficult task, choosing a winning team. I think we can all agree there's no winners tonight. Nowhere near it. It's just down to which team was worse. The red team. You started cheering after an hour and a half and getting two dishes out. Service, please. Yay! You thought that was a celebration for a cheer. Well, let me give you a cheer. C-R-A-P. Crap. That's what it was. And then when I came back into the blue kitchen, all I got was stairs. Larry, just standing there, spaced out. And I've got to make a decision. I'm going to make my decision based on what I saw tonight coming out of this kitchen, although not much came out. The losing team tonight is the red team. You had zero entrees leaving your kitchen. But you didn't win. There was one glimmer of hope in the red team. Heather. For the first hour and a half, we couldn't get any food out. You swapped places with Polly, and then within 10 minutes, we started getting food. Heather, you're the best of the very worst. Go back to your dorm and nominate two of your team for elimination. Get back to your dorm. My brain is just rattling right now. I didn't think I would be singled out to take these people home. I want to know how you guys feel. I'm really upset because I know that I've worked the hotline, I can't work the hotline, but I wasn't given an opportunity. Tell me what you want and I can do it. Show me once and I can do it. By you. I feel like an idiot. I mean, even when Sarah was trying to get me to say two minutes, I said, I'm not going to lie to him. I need an answer, yes. Six I... minutes. Six yeah. minutes. Two minutes, Chef. Go. I'm running it. It's not going to be two minutes. Okay. I'm not going to lie to any of you. That guys. is one thing that pissed me off, actually. Yeah. I love Sarah, but keep your mouth shut. Two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, 15 times. It's not two minutes. Thank you. <sighs> Sorry about that. My fun. Service, please. Yay! <laughs> guys. I was raised in a kitchen where you do not speak. How can you even smile after that? Your dreams could be taken away from you in five minutes. I could not get the food out properly. And I can't stand that. Like, I can't stand to fail. Like, I came out here to, like, show something for my heart, like, to do something for my future that's, like, serious. You know what I'm saying? I do not want you to go home. What if I put Megabell? All of a sudden, fireball goes. Whatever happens, happens. <sighs> Tonight, the men have won Hell's Kitchen's first Battle of the Sexes. Now, out of a number of worthy candidates, Heather must choose two members of her team to nominate for elimination. Heather. Yes, Chef. Have you made your decision? Yes, Chef. First nominee, and why? I chose Polly, Chef. I believe that, that we can move further without her because of her lack of experience. Second nominee, and why? Virginia Chef. I do not want you to go home. What if I put Megabell? All of a sudden, Fireball goes. I chose her because she 
didn't do the best that she could. Polly, Virginia, step forward, please. Virginia, tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. I want to succeed. Yeah, I make mistakes on times and temperatures, but I want to learn to do that better. I want to try harder at that. I want to get that right. I don't want to leave knowing that, like, I can't freaking get a temperature right on meat. Polly, why should you stay? I have the maturity and the depth that maybe some of the younger girls don't have, and I don't have the culinary knowledge, but I've, you know, proven in over my life that I can take challenges and face them and make the best of them. This is a very, very difficult decision because you both should go. I don't care what else is not ready. I just want some food now. I don't know what to do. Polly, stop what you're doing. You're now the kitchen donkey. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight is Polly. You didn't even get out the starting blocks. Nothing happened for 90 minutes. Take off your jacket and leave Hell's Kitchen. I think my family will be surprised because they fully expected me to come up here and kick some butt. I would rather be nice and lose than to be, you know, somebody who's conniving and win. I'm really anxious now because I know what the stakes are. A multi-million dollar restaurant in a billion dollar resort. And quite frankly, none of you deserve that prize. Show me some desire. Some passion. My team hates me right now. Totally hates me right now. I don't even like myself right now. Chef Ramsey might be pointing me out, but you know, if I can pull it together, I think he might be rooting for me. It cannot get any worse. Their only place to go is up. It's Hell's Kitchen for a reason. Try and bend you and break you and try and make you give up, and we just can't do that. I could just imagine people going, I knew those girls couldn't do it. You know what? You're right. We couldn't. It's late. Good night. This is a journey. And right now, we're going to hell and back each and every week to make sure we find the right person. And Polly, no chance. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. Wake up! Chef Ramsay sends everyone a wake up call. It was like World War III was going on. And a message. I want you to see exactly what you wasted. That some find hard to swallow. <laughs> and as the battle of the sexes heats up. We've got to win this. We've got to bury these girls. Some will rise to the occasion. Come on, blue team, let's go. Congratulations. Our helicopter is waiting. Absolutely amazing. While others will feel Gordon's wrath. Paul Nuts is with the scallops. Will you please repeat it, Chef? Move your fat ass okay. and read it yourself. And then there's a major accident. Hot, guys, hot, please hot. help. Find out which two chefs end up in the hospital next time on Hell's Kitchen.